and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the title, today we are actually going to be doing a hair review on a product that I have been looking at for months. It's the Dark and Lovely Blowout Collection. Um, I'm going to show you guys the entire collection. I'm going to show you all the process of how I got to this look and everything like that. Um, if you are new to my channel, hey girl, I hope that you like what you see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are returning, hey girl, hey, where you been? But yes, so as you guys know, the fall is is, is here okay the fall is here and the fall is silk press season okay it's time for us to let go of all the curly styles it's time for a bust down middle part side part baby hair swoop it's time okay and who has time to keep going to these dominicans letting them break our hair off ruin our cuticle cuticles wasting our time we've been there six hours six hours under a dryer ears burning who has time for that nobody so if you want to see how i achieve this look at home for the low make sure that you guys stay tuned please don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions about these products if you have any other products that you've had your eyeballs on and you too scared to try it and you want me to try it leave it in the comments below so if you are interested in seeing and hearing more make sure that you stay tuned we're about to get into it right now all right, girls, let's get it. So I feel like this is the most important part, making sure your hair is nice and saturated before you begin to add product. What you wanna do is just keep on rinsing your hair until your natural pattern starts to revert. So I like to separate my hair into two sections before I wash. It just makes things a whole lot easier for me. And then once I'm finished separating, I go ahead and I grab a paddle brush and I begin to detangle. I never like to detangle my hair while my hair is dry. So after I'm done with that, I do a little turn up, you know, a little one, two, boop, boop. Then I grab the Smoothing Weightless Shampoo. I'm going to put a little bit on my hand, just enough to cover you know my roots and everything just for the first wash so as you see I'm going directly into my roots just rubbing it right into my scalp letting my hair really absorb the product also I feel like this just kick starts my wash you know just really really does a good job so then I'll go ahead and rinse that out now on the second wash I'm going to definitely add a pretty generous amount really working it into my scalp and moving it down towards the ends of my hair. I really like to work it in there. This feels so good. Turn up, turn up. And then I rinse. And of course, I repeat with the other side. Moving right along to the moisture treat deep conditioner as you see i'm going to take a pretty generous amount put it into my hands do a little sniff sniff and then i'm going to put it right into my hair working it really really good into my hair i do like to keep those sections separated so i'm going to go ahead and braid it down and then once i'm finished braiding that i'm going to go ahead and go to the other side and repeat i like to give myself about 10 minutes to bathe and in between the conditioner and then I'm going to take both braids out and rinse it down. I know you see that slow down. Bop. <laughs> so after that, we're going to continue to rinse, 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 rinse. As you see, I'm going to pick up my paddle brush and really detangle my hair even more. Braid it down and then get my behind out the shower. So now we're going to go ahead and get started with the Silky Slip Blow Dry Cream. As you see, I'm going to do a little sniff sniff. Now, I really did like this product. Um, it was really, really silky. I went ahead and worked it really good into my hair. After I'm finished working it in, you're going to see that I'm going to separate my hair into four sections and braid it back down. This is how I prep for a good old blow dry. Last but not least, we're going to go in with our Heat Shield Primer Mist, which is basically heat protected, and put it right on the eyeball, Jay. Right on the eyeball. Now I'm just kidding. I'm going to spray it right onto the part where I'm going to blow dry first. I'm going to grab my blow dryer and go ahead and get started. If you guys want to see a detailed video on how I get my hair blow dried in 15 minutes, let me know, and we are good to go. So, I'm done blow drying. It took me about 15 minutes to blow dry my hair. 
Um, so I have the um, the last thing that I put on my hair from the collection was the Heat Shield Primer Mist. Um, that make that actually made my hair feel a little prodigy. I'm not even gonna hold you. Um, right now my hair. Um, this is my straighten routine but um right now my hair i can already tell by the way that my hair feels like right now that it's definitely going to feel different in the end than it normally does in my normal you know presses um it definitely has a little bit of shine to it um it feels a little it feels a little heavy i don't know if that's because it's going to have like a little silk filling and once it's finished but um typically if I washed my hair with my normal products and it felt like this after I blow dried it, I'd wash it again. But um, for the sake of trying to see how this is going to turn out, I'm going to give it a go. I am definitely not feeling how it feels right now. It feels very product-y. But um, we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, as I'm flattening my hair, I like to section it in four parts. That's for me or any client or any body's hair that I straighten, I do that. And then I also like to clean my fly iron before I use it. I just use a, um, I use a cotton square. And I just kind of put a little bit of a rubbing alcohol on it. Um, just to kind of get rid of any excess dirt on my fly iron. Because, um, a lot of product and you know just natural hair dirt and stuff like that gets on your flat iron when you flat iron it in time so I just kind of go over it and look see that that comes from you know just na burning natural hair oil you know so I always always clean it I know you're like your hair dirty girl listen Clean your flat iron and show me what it looked like. I bet you it looked like this. All right, we are finished. I have completely finished blow drying and straightening my hair using the Dark and Lovely Blowout Collection. Um, I'm going to do a spin around so you guys can kind of see. Let me lower this so you guys can see. So, I think that it did really good. Um, I know I need a trim, but I think it did really, really good. Um, my hair does feel like it has product on it, I will say that. Um, I typically don't like when my hair feels like it has product on it. I like it to be a little bit airy, but this does um, allow my hair to feel airy as well as does um, give it a little bit of a silky feel. Um, it, it says on the actual products that it contains a silk protein i can definitely feel i can definitely feel like it has that in there i can see my hair really being oily maybe like by tomorrow just because it's already super oily and then this product being on my hair just kind of makes it a little bit more you know producty i don't know if you guys know but um that producty feel now um out of a 10 i'll probably rate it like a Maybe in a seven and a half, eight. I would love to see how this feels on my daughter's hair because her hair, like, is kind of on on the dry side. So, I would love to see how this feels on her hair. Um, I feel like one step that I also probably could have skipped would have been the silky slip blow dry cream. I feel like this probably was overkill for me, um, or maybe I just put too much on it. Um, I also probably could have done a better job just rinsing it out a little bit longer. I usually switch my um, water to cold water when I'm rinsing out product, but um, I totally forgot my camera died in the shower. I just totally, totally forgot. The only thing that I did not use on my hair um, is the shine gloss, and that is because this is not going to be my final, final um, flat iron for this look. As you see, my roots are kind of already like um, puffing up a little bit. It's just because I'm under these hot lights, just really trying to get good lighting. And I'm already like a sweater, so it's like, it's not helping. I'm, um, I'm sweating my roots out as I'm even like standing here talking. So um, I will insert some photos once I'm completely done with the um, with my 
process and um, what it looks like after I use this shine gloss um, and this is supposed to be um, helpful with reducing frizz and give you an all-day shine so yeah I'm gonna use this um, so I mean I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know how you feel about it if you tried it before if you're gonna try it um, or anything like that or if you have any questions please leave them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them and um, thanks so much for watching and don't forget to like comment and subscribe I will see you guys in the next video